trying to film a makeup video like all day, but I started feeling sick. So, uh, well, all day yesterday, so I started feeling sick, so I didn't, but now I feel a little bit better. I also did my nails earlier today. They're kind of, they look so much better and like better lighting. They're Kirby's and then just some stars. Um, this one's by far the going to be the best, but, um, a lot of, a lot of stuff happened. similar to like MS but it's not like it's like I my mom didn't tell me exactly which one uh which is fine because I don't really need to know um but she said that out of any degenerative disease that you could be diagnosed with this is the best one um it's not as like severe or as fast acting as other ones so he had to have um emergency surgery which he already had um and all that so my mom's updating me she i was the first person she told what was going on um because i mean she just wasn't like really thinking about telling other people she just was like i mean your husband's in the hospital for something so serious you're just kind of more focused on your husband than anything else so i knew for like a whole like four or five days before everybody else knew which i did not know that i knew and nobody else did made me feel really bad for her so I actually helped clean the house um while she was there clean up a little bit because my little brother is still at the house and it pisses me off that he literally doesn't clean like she'll ask him to do stuff and he'll just kind of half-ass not even half-ass like you couldn't even say that just like doesn't really do it so um so she came over to clean up and also like restock the house with some food because he and his and he has his friends over. So like of course he's not gonna clean as good when you've got fucking friends over. But I get it, it's summer, but like you have something serious you gotta do. So I helped her do that. Then she went to Tractor Supply Co. with me to um get QB a like her second her like distemper booster. And then um gave me my testosterone shot. And then I basically left and then I went over to my grandma's house because my grandma, which is so funny, I still have not gone through that stuff yet because I've been so fucking busy. Um, went over to my grandma's house. I'm gonna use this pretty fresh hyaluronic acid moisturizer by ColourPop. I love this because um, it's pretty buildable, but I can't use my other foundation because it's too. Myself, but like, which is another thing I'm gonna update you guys about. Um, I pretty sure I need, I have, I don't know how to word it right. I'm pretty sure I have celiac disease. Multiple people in my family have been diagnosed with it recently, and today, out of like the week and a half I've been eating no gluten, I eat gluten today, and I literally look nine months pregnant. Um, and my stomach is so loud after I eat gluten like it is suffering um, And it just it sounded like I literally just shit my pants, but it's just my stomach making noises so. <laughs> Sorry, but anyway as I was saying
saying, my grandma, or no, as I was saying, I can't wear my other foundation because it's too white. Because my face, even though it's very white, it's, um, it's like a little bit more tan than that foundation. Because I never not once thought I would be that type of person to have a summer shade, but I guess I was wrong. Um, but anyway, so I went over to my grandma's house after I went and like kind of checked with my mom a little bit and then saw my brother and then um, got my shot and everything and like left. And I went over to my grandma's because she has like some kitchen stuff that she gave me. Um, so like pot holders, et cetera, et cetera. And some stuff from my childhood, which I'm just like, which I love that she wants to give it to me. And she's probably just trying to declutter. But it's also like, I don't want this stuff because I feel like I'm just going to throw it away. Because I, I don't have a lot of space for this kind of stuff in my apartment. You know what I mean? But it was whatever. Um, so we're talking about like what was going on really fast before I left. And I actually didn't know. I think I stopped it before I went over to my mom, so sorry about that. But anyway, we were just like talking about what was going on. And she like tells me that she didn't know till like literally yesterday what was going on. I was like, oh, because I've known, I knew for like a week or so. So I was like, that's kind of crazy, but I didn't say anything. Because um, my mom, yeah, I, I definitely just stopped before I saw my mom because my mom told me how she hadn't really told anybody because my little brother and then my other little brother, which is my step sibling, that I just call my little brother. It's just, sometimes it's easier for context. Are gonna go see him, was gonna go see him that day that I left. but And that's why she came back to our house because um, she didn't wanna see his ex-wife. And it's not like my mom can't be civil with his ex-wife. It's just his ex-wife is fucking She's like my dad, that's the best way I can describe it. She just is like, she will, if she sees you, she sees it as a way to get information and be a bitch, like, and make something out of nothing, even though there's like something obviously more important happening, you know? So I thought, I think that's kind of funny. My mom was just like, I'm not even doing that to myself. So she just came home while they visited. But yeah, I thought that was crazy um, that I was like the first to know, which is, I'm not saying it's like I don't care, but it's just like, I don't have a good relationship with my stepdad. So it's not like I'm like, the, like the biggest thing I'm just concerned about is my mom, really. I know that might sound shitty, but like, if you guys haven't been watching my channel, like literally I was, I had my channel before and I was filming videos as I was getting kicked out like I got kicked out and I had to move in my grandparents literally because of my stepdad and because my mom didn't stand up for me so I didn't go back so obviously I'm not on the best terms with him at all and my mom we have that weird kind of tension going on and off so it just it puts some tension on that situation obviously but it's whatever life moves on right um, I thought a little bit more. I didn't like do my double chin. So we're just like talking about how crazy that is. And then my grandpa's over at like his neighbor's house. I went over there to say hi to my grandpa because I don't really see them much since I've moved out. And I know it's because I don't live with them anymore. But like every time I would see my grandparents, I just like notice how much they've been aging. Like. And it makes me so sad. Like, I literally cry after I see them every time. And it's, like, it's so stupid because, like, they're still obviously very alive in here. But it's, like, it's just, like, that reminder, like, oh, my God, I'm going to have an ex... Like, there's going to be life that I experience without my grandparents. And as much as, like, they can be kind of frustrating or annoying sometimes, like, I love my grandparents. I love them, you know. And it's just, like, oh, my God, it just kills me inside. <sighs> Um, because like, especially my grandpa, my grandma, I think has aged through my childhood and I can see that, but like very gracefully, I will say my grandpa, he has always looked young, like always, always, always. And it's just like, I feel like this in like last year, he's been like starting to actually age. And I'm just like, 
like I like literally from the moment I was born until like I want to say like 18 he's been the exact like looks the same acts the same maybe not the same energy levels but like pretty much so I was just it's it's very crazy to me um I don't know if y'all can relate to that but like it's just very because and it's maybe just because I have such young grandparents like they're in their 50s both of them I think I don't know I know my grandma's older than my grandpa so um because my mom my grandma was young when she had my my um mom and my aunt and then my mom was also a child when she had me so you know my family is pretty young so um I don't know it's just it's yeah um so I said hi to him then I came home and then I got a text from my mom uh not like the same day but like probably the day after and it was now I don't immediately like open up text messages when I get them unless I'm actively talking to somebody and I wasn't actively talking to my mom so I just looked at the preview and my mom, I should know better by now, but I didn't think about it at the time because I always do it. Um, my mom like does text to speech and she'll like talk in par like paragraphs. So, um, the previews that like an iPhone will do will like cut the whole text message off. So even though she sends like a super long text message. All I'm gonna see is the first paragraph and the first paragraph was really short and it just said can you give Evan a call and like check on him which is my little brother that was living uh, that lives there and I saw that and I was like yeah for sure which is funny because I didn't even end up doing that <laughs> which is so terrible but but she had sent me a long text and I didn't see it because like what I just said um, I thought it was like a tiny text and I didn't need to really say anything back to it because <sighs> in my head I was like okay I'll text her back after I do it so it will remind me to do it but I didn't do it <laughs> so I'm not thinking about it and like three days go by and my mom calls me except I was at work so I didn't pick up um and I get home Home. as I'm like getting off I like listen to voicemails like I'm getting in my car and my mom is pissed like pissed you would just like hear it in her voice and she was like I left you this really long fucking text message and you didn't fucking get back with me and I need you I really just need to speak to you like I need you to call me right fucking now and I'm like I'm not about to call you because I'm not about to get yelled at um, because I'm a grown man and no, I'm not going to do that. So I get back home and I, I look at my phone because I'm like, well, I didn't get a long text message. And then that's when I see that that text message that I thought was like super short and simple ended up being a super long text message where she essentially was telling me that I need to make time in my schedule to go over to her house and clean the house because um, my stepdad was getting discharged from the hospital and she doesn't have time to go back to the house and that I need to go up and clean up after all the animals. And mind you, it's not just like a few animals, like it's three dogs and it's like what, seven raccoons. Um, and I was like, damn. That's kind of crazy because I don't have time to do that. Um, last week I was like picking up shifts from work. Which I fucking hate doing by the way because I hate going in and not doing my job. Sorry, my cat cupping. I'm drinking like soda right now. So soda and uh, Malibu. So I was like, well, I really don't have time. And by the time like that I had gotten off work and I'm like sitting on my couch like reading this 
like this text message it was like four o'clock my friend was on his way to come over because I, was, I, I had plans to hang out with my friend after work and to relax and hang out and I was just like I don't have energy because like okay think about it my mom's house is about an hour away so I'm gonna drive an hour to her house after work it's already kind of sun is setting spend multiple hours cleaning that house and it wasn't like she just like oh can you just like pick up a few? like no she wanted me to mop and do all this like deep cleaning shit and it's just like why can't your son that lives with you do that and why i was just like why would you assume that like why would the responsibility assume to be mine like you know what i mean and it's just was like what the fuck because it's like i get it it's it's one of those situations of like damn like you, you, she's got a lot going on and i feel like i should feel bad and stuff like that but it was at the same time i was like i literally don't live anywhere near you and you have someone at home who does nothing but play video games who can clean and her her like reasoning within that text was just like he just doesn't clean correctly so why didn't you teach him like previously how to clean correctly because that should not be on me and my fault like i'm sorry but it's not and like it just like it kind of like infuriated me a little bit like it really did instead of like feeling bad and being like oh my god i should because i did feel bad at first i felt bad when i realized oh my god i didn't read this text and i felt bad that my mom needs help and i feel bad for her because she's stressed um but then that text kind of pissed me off because it's like i have my own wife you know i you like you guys made that decision to kick me the fuck out and now you're expecting me to help you like it it, it did and then, like, I don't know if you guys watched my last makeup video where I was talking about how she, like, broke down in an off guard and was like, I just feel so bad by the way I treated you. You know, blah, 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 blah. And, like, you're repeating that same fucking behavior, though. Like, where you do shitty things and then when people don't want to be nice to you, you're a victim. Like, I was just like, damn. Like, I was just, like, upset. And my friend came over, and I didn't want to respond when my friend was over. Um, because, and I was, like, talking to my friend about it. Because I just, I wanted, like, a second opinion on it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to shoot an angry text back to her. Actually, I didn't want to send an angry text back to her in general. So I shut off my phone. I didn't look at the text anymore. I was just hanging out with my friend. And, like, talking through it. Because I was pissed. And I, and I was just going through a lot. So I didn't want to be mean. Even though, like, I took that text as kind of being rude. And I'm sure she didn't mean for me to take that text as being rude. But I did. Because it's like, I got so much shit going on. And, like, I think what the nail in the coffin was for that is, like, when I was a kid, um, my dad, because my dad's a narcissist, I don't know if it's a common thing with narcissists, but um, he's a clean freak. Like, And it's not necessarily because he wants the house to be clean. It's to control, like he wants you to do something and cleaning the house is something that he doesn't have to do so he would like task me as a child to clean the entire house and like would beat the shit out of me if it wasn't like his version of clean and my mom i'm not saying like she did the same thing but i am saying that like her version of clean is like unattainable unless it's her basically is what I'm trying to say so it's like even if I had had the time and energy to go over there she would have found something that was like why didn't you do this or blah 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 blah. you know what I'm saying and it was just like it's so crazy that I was raised that way and I was raised and forced to clean and all this shit and then my little brother well he's just he's just a baby he doesn't no. And all this shit. Like, it just it pissed me off. So I hang out with my friend for a bit. And we come back after we we went to, like, Goodwill. And, like, um, I think Target. Because they needed to get some groceries as well. While they were out here. And so when we got back to my apartment, I looked at the text again. And... 
started I forget exactly oh and then there was more in that text message it was talking about like money and stuff like that too but like again I don't know how long you guys have been watching my channel my mom took like four thousand dollars give or take from me and when she knew she could not pay me back and it wasn't for like some of it was important stuff I will say that like I'll give her the that aspect like yeah some of that stuff needs to be paid for but other stuff absolutely not I'm just being real enough front with you and so it got to a point where she got tired of just trying to pay me back with like extra cash she had because that's gonna take forever so we agreed upon that she would pay for my phone bill and for my car insurance until it was paid off and my car insurance and my phone bill are not that expensive like I think they're both around $50 so $100 per month you know and I I don't know if it's 1000% paid off yet I don't like my phone is not paid off yet she agreed that she'd pay off my phone for sure you can go. I was leaving this room, but I guess not. Um, I might be. But, um, the, like, because, like, my phone broke, so I had to get a new phone, and I had that phone paid off with my own money. I paid my own phone bill before this, and she was like, well, I could just pay that phone off and then pay your phone bill and your car insurance. And I was like, cool. And then all that shit happened where I got kicked out because that, that was agreed upon before I got kicked out so thankfully you know that was ex like two less expenses I had by the time I was on my own and it's also great now because I really can't I don't, I don't have a lot of extra money you know going around so it's been kind of nice to not worry about that stuff and in that text message she was like saying that I should be paying for it which was like what are you talking about because I guess in her head that she doesn't want me to, she doesn't want to pay for my car insurance anymore. She, she doesn't want to pay for that. She wants me to, which is, it's fine. I can, I can fork over like $60 every month. That's fine. And, um, so I didn't respond. Oh, I completely, Okay. So she sent me that text where she was asking me and then I had texted her that I'm sorry that I I didn't see this text and I, I couldn't come over that day or the next day because I was working. Um, but I said I would make sure to text my little brother to make sure he cleaned. And she then she responded to me with another long text, which is the text I was referring to when I read it to my friend and I clutched up my phone because I was like pissed about it. And I, she, she was just basically pissed off that I, I didn't respond to her. I feel like I should restart the story because, like, I feel like that might be confusing. But, like, because I, I forgot those two separate texts. And not just one. So I'm sorry. Um, but, like, sorry, my boyfriend's music going off just, like, threw me. Um, so she was just, like, mad. And I... So then at the second text I responded, I was just like, okay, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I did say I was sorry. Um, like, I said in the last text. And then I said, where do you want me to send that car insurance money? And she didn't respond till like, midnight. Like, so I didn't see it till the next day. And she was just like, I'm so sorry if, like, that text came off horrible oh my god, like, I just, I'm just so stressed right now, and it's, like, part of me is, like, yeah, I get it, like, you, you have to be fucking stressed, because, like, I cannot imagine, you know, going through that, um, I really could not imagine, like, my boyfriend going through something like that, and right, no, right now, like, my boyfriend makes the most money out of the two of us, and that's what happens with my mom and, uh, her husband, he's the main breadwinner, and um because he's a doctor and so he's on disability right now and if you don't know how like Amer i don't know if disability is like the same 
like worldwide, but in America, um, you don't even get paid like half the money you make, like like your salary or your hourly rate. Like you do not you get even paid half most of the time. I think when I was on disability for like my surgery and stuff, I got paid like barely a quarter of what I get paid hourly. And I make like just above, I made just above minimum wage prior to this job. So, you know, even though he makes decent money, that's not a lot of money. They have an expensive house and all this, like these bills and stuff. And my mom has a job that she works, does for fun basically, or for like her own stuff. So she was just like talking to me like, you know, oh, I'm just so stressed about money. I don't know like how we're going to be able to afford anything. Um, and all that and then there's basically a chance that the surgery doesn't do anything for him um and that not only will it not help him walk or anything but it will also impair his other motor skills as well so because he could still move his like arms and stuff move his arms and hands but he couldn't walk and he's not supposed to be moving at all right now so they don't even know uh so, because my mom was also saying, like, he, it's basically, like, he's a 200-pound, like, infant. Like, he can't move. So, um, even though I was mad, I, I was just, like, I, like, started crying because I felt so bad. But it's also, like, girl, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, it was just, like, one of those moments, like, what the fuck? And I'm not mad at my mom. Oh, my God, I need to take my tea shot tonight. I almost fucking forgot. It's Sunday night right now. Um... But it was just like, you know what I mean? And, oh my god, I'm such an asshole. I don't think I even responded to her. I'm sorry, Dex. I'm going to tonight. I think I just, I didn't really know what to say to her. Because I remember I saw that text, like, as I was walking to work. I didn't even know what to say. So I just, like, didn't say anything. And I was going to talk it out with my boyfriend. And I probably did, but then I just didn't text her back. I'm kind of a dick. I feel like a dick really bad now. <sighs> um, since I have Kirby nails on, I want to do like a pink look. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, I don't know where my Anastasia palette is. I've been using it for my nails. Um, so I didn't do this hand by the way because my nails feel so weird on this hand. I think it's, um, because like I, like, um, my my nails are like thinner because I drilled them too much, which my fault. So I'm just like not doing my nails on that side for a bit. But anyway, so like that happened, um, and I was like pissed, but I was also like I feel bad. Like I love my mom. I still love my mom, but I was just like I don't know. Cause I'm sure I'm sure what happened is when she saw me apologize, and you know what I mean, and try to make things right, she kind of realized, like, maybe she was being a little too, and then, like, and then, I'm sure she's fine, like, she didn't need me to respond to that, because I think she's even sent me some, like, like, videos of the raccoons on, like, Instagram, and I have sent her a TikTok on Instagram, so I, I don't know, I don't know, because, like, I, I, like, I feel bad for even getting mad at her in the first place, that, like, because I, I wasn't really mad about her saying like oh you need to go over because like I get it like that's your kid in a way but it's also like like you didn't even like didn't even ask me if I had shit I was going on like going on and like whatever but then it's like okay but would I be thinking about that at this point in time and it's like I don't know I don't know I don't know you know what I mean it's just like one of those like what the fuck <laughs> Like, you're thinking about it from your perspective, but then you're thinking about it from theirs, and it just is, like, no one's wrong, but no one's right type of situations. I don't know. Does that make sense? So. So that happened, and that was, like, the biggest, like, was, like, the most stressful, like, 24 hours of my life. Not really. But, like, it was a lot for me to be, like, handling after work. <laughs> because, like, I've just been... I'm blended. You didn't even tell me. Um. But anyhow, like everything's fine. I just am like, and I think I haven't checked and asked if my tip ads are recovering fine, but I'm 
sure he is. Um, I don't want to seem like I don't give a fuck, but it's just like, yeah, I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, I think it's terrible. I do. You know, it's awful. It's crazy how out of nowhere stuff like that can happen. But, um, you know, I can't imagine dealing with something like that. Um, so then that happened. I had some stuff going on at work, but like, I don't know about you guys, but like, oh, well, first of all, work has been crazy fucking busy. Like, um, if you don't work retail, this is one of the, this is like the second busiest time of the year to work retail. The first being Christmas. And then this is back to school season. And especially if you work at a fucking Target. Because everybody and their mom wants to go to Target. And I'm not mad about that because real. Like, love Target. That's why I like working there. It's so nice. It's nice, but I like I will complain about it. Does that make sense? Like, I really, like, I love my job, you guys. Like, I I really do, but I just have days where I'm like, oh my god, I, it's not necessarily my job, I mean, it's like, it's just, it's the fact that it is a job, and a story, I don't know if that makes sense, like, I wish I didn't have to work, but I'm kind of glad I do, in a weird way, because I love my coworkers. but it's been, it's been so busy, and I've just have never, I feel like, because, like, Walmart is also very busy because that's the other retail store I've worked. But, like, Target, it's next level. Next fucking level. And it's, like, no one in these, like, shopping groups you are attending. Like, so it's, like, the kids and the mom most of the time. Sometimes it's dad, but it's, it's mostly mom. Um, like, nobody's happy to be there. Nobody. Like, they're pissed I don't know if they like wait and like target the last store they go to but like you can tell <laughs> some arguments have already happened and everybody's tired and nobody wants to try anything on like it, it, it is just like damn um but it also sucks because it's like they don't want to be here and so then they like if they have to interact with you as like an employee they're like really pissed off and like will give you a lot of attitude and because it's been so busy um, I don't know if you guys know this but majority of the time um, targets don't like unless it's like a bigger target because like I said ours is a small target and we're not gonna get a remodel unless we get a, another uh, store director because our store director uh, and I'm not saying this is my opinion but you might know my opinion um, I've just been told by it, like, people who are in charge of our store director as well as, like, I don't know, like, literally everybody. Like, you have to have a strong management team to have a remodel. And if you don't, you don't qualify for a remodel. So, we don't. Uh, as of right now. <laughs> um, because it wasn't just, like, the management team that they said. It was literally the store director. Like, that's, like, exactly verbatim what they said but so they don't um because for a smaller store they don't actually hire cashiers like we have like maybe three or four people who are specifically only cashiers um and everybody else if they are called up to being cashiers it's not their job that's not what they're hired to do and so of course um because it's so busy that we're gonna need people to go up to cashier even though they're not meant to be and um, people get really pissed off <laughs> because there's not enough cashiers, but it's like, we're not supposed to have that many anyway, so don't be mad at us because it's not even our job. Um, so, but it's been like so busy and then like this week, I had a lot of salvage and if you don't know what that is, basically, if you ever been to like a Ross or like a TJ Maxx or like an Ollie's, anything like a resale store like that. Basically, if you've ever seen like Target products, those are salvage products. 
So it's products that are pulled from the floor or from the back that Target no longer wants to sell uh, for a multitude of reasons. Um, sometimes it's just been recalled. Um, sometimes it's just been on clearance for too long or it just doesn't sell enough. So they will make, then that's necessarily part of my job because um, it's part of my pricing. So while I'm like marking stuff on clearance and stuff, I'm also pulling salvage from the back. And we, of course, had this deal going on where like shoes, a lot of kid shoes were like buy one, get one like 50% off or like 30% in general over shoes. And I have a fuck ton of kid shoes going salvage. And what's really important when you're salvaging out products is that you get all of the product off the floor before you hit that salvage button. Otherwise, the counts are going to be off. And when the counts are off, that reflects on me in the store badly. I couldn't give a fuck about, you know, the percentages on the store, even though I kill that shit. Um, I just, I, I want to make sure like I look like I'm doing my job because I do. <sighs> but of course, everybody and their mommy is, you know, shopping for shoes. I've never had to like, I've never been, I've never had so many angry, like, I've never had so many white women angry at me, basically. Like, because like they see me and I got clearance stickers on my car and I'm scanning stuff and they see me and they're like, you might be marking the shoes down. So they come up to me and they're like, can you scan this to make sure it's not supposed to be on clearance? Which, if you do see an employee, I actually do recommend that as long as they don't look super busy. Because sometimes it will go down. Um, but, like, as I, I like would literally tell them, like, oh, actually, I know that it's not going down. They'd be like, well, can you scan it? Lady, this is my job. But I, 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 and I would just be like, okay, yeah, sure. Most of the time, I don't even argue, try and I just scan them. And I'm like, nope, they're full price. And they'd be like, oh, blah, 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 whatever. But then, like, I would be, like, grabbing shoes. And this lady, like, was like, oh, I actually wanted to purchase those. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. And so, like, I was like, hold on, let me um, look at these so I don't activate them. And she was like, oh, if you're going to mark them down further, please, like, I, I would appreciate that. And I was like, no, I'm not marking them down further. I'm actually taking them off the floor. But if you would like to purchase them, like you can, I just can't activate it right now. And she was looking at me like I was fucking crazy. And I was like, it, so she's like, they're not sellable. Like, should I be buying these? I was like, no, no, like it's just, they've just been on clearance for too long. So they weren't selling. So they store just resells them. And she goes, oh, sorry. And like, it was fine. But then I think other moms heard me say that. So they immediately like flocked over to where I was and started pulling shit out of my cart. And I'm just like, and now you can buy that stuff after I've marked it. But what's going to happen if you take it up to a register, it's going to ring up a zero dollars because it's not supposed to be fucking bought anymore. And so they're going to have to look at that clearance sticker and then mark it at that like last clearance price, which is funny because some of these didn't even go to like, some of these weren't marked um, because I had so many clearance uh, price changes like the week prior to this that I had somebody else help me. And um, I'm not trying to say they didn't do a good job or anything, but it's like, obviously, if you're the one who's doing it every day, you're going to be a lot better than someone who doesn't. So they missed a lot and this was stuff that they missed. So they're not even getting it to the la like at the last clearance price. I'm like, you're so whatever. So that took forever and I was getting a lot of mean mugs and looks and whatever like that. I'm just like overstimulated. So just like, and um, like backtrack though, when I was not in this section last week, it was like the beginning of the week. And this week was really weird. Like nobody was working their like normal schedules. Because like most of the time I'm only like alone in my department on like Wednesdays, um, which I hate Wednesdays, be not only because I'm alone in my department, like I don't really care um, about being alone per se, but it's because they, they assume that even though I, I work in the style department, I don't do style anything. Like I specifically only do price changes, but because there's no one else in the department, 
when I'm in there, they expect me to do the style stuff. And it's like, I don't know how many times I have to explain to you that that's not my job. And I don't normally have time. Like, because if I have time to do it, oh yeah, I don't care. I'll do it. Like, I'm not going to make a big fuss about it. But the, like, last few weeks, I've had so many price changes. Like, I just don't have time. And they finally got the memo because guess who has more hours these next few weeks? This guy does. I've been surviving off of like 22 hours a fucking week. And I finally have like, next week's not a huge improvement. It's like 29. But the week after that, it's like 31. And I'm like, fuck it. Like, I'm going to be buying so much fucking shit finally. <laughs> like, you guys have no idea how excited I am. And I might start saving up for a tattoo. Like, I'm just so pumped. Um, I'm so pumped. And I'll probably end up losing my food stamps. But honestly, if I get back up to 40 hours, like, that's fine. Like, it, and I'm, I'm so thankful that I even was able to get on food stamps. Because growing up, we never qualified, even though we desperately needed it. So, um, you know, that's whatever. But it's just like, oh my god. So that's kind of nice, but I'm also like kind of dreading it in a really funny way because it's like I'm so used to my little bitch shifts um, that like these like really long ass shifts are going to fucking suck because I'm not used to working an eight hour shift because I feel like the last eight hour shift I worked was like months ago. So it's going to be really interesting, um, but it'll, it'll be fine. That means I'm going to start packing in lunches again, which I'm kind of excited to do. Because I have all these cute, like, little dishwares and stuff. And, I'm like, that I've just been sitting at home. Because my boyfriend comes home for lunch. Because he, like, works, like, right across the street. And he likes coming home to eat and all that. Most of the time, anyway. Um, but I don't come home during my lunches. Because I just don't feel like that's worth the time. Because I've got to go through multiple intersections with like heavy lights so I'm just like I'm not doing that I thought it's nice to get out of the store um like every once in a while like I'll just sit outside with like my one co-worker because she smokes so I'll sit outside with her while she smokes which is really nice when it's not it's crazy hot um so that's kind of exciting um what was I talking about there was like a story I wanted to talk about at work but I can't remember I feel like I'm so, like, all over the place because I haven't, like, sat down. Like, there's been, like, I've said so much I wanted to say. And, like, I feel like I don't have enough time. But it's, like, literally my video. Like, it's not that serious. I'm going to put a little bit of... I went wrong. Oh, okay. So there's two stories I want to tell you. first one um I've already kind of told you guys before I do that I'm gonna put some concealer up here because that like I had a lot of um whatever the fuck that's called you know what I'm talking about like extra eyeshadow that like came off there's like a specific term for it and I can't think about it this is the camo concealer by the way it's like the only shit I use It's gonna piss me off that I don't remember. I like want to say run off, but that is not right, and I know it. I don't know. You, you know what I use. You probably do at least. But anyway, so um, I have a coworker there that doesn't. I she's not even really a coworker. She's like above. She's not a team lead, but she's paid more than a team lead um, because she's a VM. And a VM is a virtual merch visual. I would say virtual visual merchandiser. And so her job is to move stuff around. And I didn't put any eyeshadow under my eye. That's going to bother me. One second. So her job is to kind of zone around, make sure things are like, 
where they should be and then like um put signage up where it's supposed to be and just some other stuff basically like really it's whatever and she has like this crazy ass one-sided fucking beef with me which I'm still not exactly sure why and what I did to this woman because I'm like literally always so kind to her like I don't even say good morning to her because she like refuses to even like make eye contact with me which is like fine like you know I'm not a morning person so it's like you know maybe she's just not a morning person but I don't think it's that because she'll say like good morning to other people which by the way I'm not mad about people not saying good morning to me I literally don't care but um she'll like literally try to talk shit about me to my team lead and I love my team lead so much oh my god she's literally my ride or die like she does not, like, I, I could not imagine being on her bad side, by the way. Like, fuck. I'm not saying she's not professional, but I'm just saying, like, <gasps> um, should I do a wing? I kind of want to do a wing. Every time I do, like, pink looks, I think about, like, 2020 makeup, like, with, like, really thick eyeliner. But I can't do thick eyeliner because I, I do bad. I do bad. I don't do well. But, um, she was like she'll try to talk shit about me with her and she'll be like no <laughs> like thank you love you and she'll tell she'll always come up to me and tell me about it too which is like another reason i love her but anyway i came in that day it was actually the day that i was talking about oh fuck that was way too much um where i had like a lot of angry ladies at and shoes Gonna start out in shoes. And I'm doing my shit. I'm scanning stuff. Oh, it's in my eye. Oh my god. It it's always happens when I break out this eyeliner. Always. Oh. I'm trying not to cry, so I ruin all of my makeup. It burns really bad. That sucks ass anyway so i'm like doing my thing and the vm is over there and my team lead is like walking by and she's like can i speak to you and i already knew it was about me like i <laughs> i already knew it was about me because um before i had walked over there um i finished up working and oh my god that is so much worse than i thought it'd be fuck we're gonna just try and clean it up with some concealer and see if that will work and if not I'll just make a wipe it um before I went over to shoes because it wasn't the start of my day it was um I've been over in a few other departments just like uh, marking some like extra stuff that I couldn't find earlier in the week and then on top of that my co-worker who I really enjoy working with her name is Shay um was working and of course i'm gonna like stop by and say like good morning because i'm not a fucking asshole <laughs> and i was like you know we we're just like and also like it's just because i like when i like somebody like i don't shut the fuck up like i'm just so excited to talk to people that i enjoy having conversations with which, like, I need to get this, like, hang out with her outside of work so bad. Like, she's so fun. I hope she feels the same way because that would be so awkward if she didn't. Like, because I, I, like, I'll say that every once in a while. And, like, she's like, oh, my God, yeah. But, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, my God, she's just saying that to be nice. Like, <laughs> um, she's actually dating someone I went to high school with. So, it's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, so, like, we're, we're just, like, just conversating like nothing crazy but like we also weren't talking for like ever like i think we talked for at most maybe like six minutes or really like not that long and um i'm like as we're talking by the way like the store is closed that we're not even open yet and i'm walking backwards as we're talking because i'm i was on my way going to shoes and um you know i'm like walking as i'm talking to her and she said something that like I also was like oh my god story that I was like meaning to tell her so I walked back over her and like as the VM was walking next to like 
like at like next to us so i was like i turned around like i like started walking towards her and i was like talking and so we started talking about something and i'm standing there and she's still working and i'm, I'm obviously not but like i'm i'm standing there um and i admit that like full-heartedly but it's also like I'm sorry, but you're gonna have a conversation with your coworkers if you like your coworkers at your job. Like, I'm not ever gonna be like that type of person. It's like, oh, I don't talk. Up. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, it. Cause if like you are like somebody who's like, oh my god, I could never like, I just feel too like, you know what I mean? Like, first of all, you're a pick me, and second of all, people probably just don't talk to you because they don't like you, which is like why I think she gets so mad when people have conversations and stuff because she doesn't get that <laughs> she doesn't get that same treatment at work because no one talks to her and it's like i tried so hard to be kind with this woman and to be nice because when i first started working there everybody told me how big of a bitch she fucking was like everyone and i was like what like i haven't had a single bad experience and then it like i had that um she like tried yelling at me like I was a child over something over like not moving a certain product somewhere when it was literally her job to be doing and it, not my job and which I even though it's not her job and it it I mean it's not my job I still do it because you know it's whatever if I have time to do something I'm going to I don't like it when other people pick up for me or whatever you know it's what I'm doing um, and so I told her, you know, well, I'm sorry if I didn't have time this week, but if I, when I have time, I definitely do that. And I thought that was like it, but like ever since we had that conversation, she's just been like out to kill me, like get me for real. Oh, you could still see it, but it's whatever. Um, so like I said, like 22 hour work weeks with, is not a lot of time to do my job um and i still for the most part get it done because i'm good at my job not that i get paid to do it that well but you know oh my god i just fucked that up so bad i'm just trying to tell myself the lashes are gonna fix everything <laughs> but anywho so um i talked to her for a bit and the VM comes back with like a Z bar um, and is like moving stuff around. And I looked at seeing what she was doing and it was clearance, but it was not clearance that I, I did. So it must have been clearance from like a week ago because I didn't do this department last week. Um, somebody who was helping me do price changes did. And she was huffing and she was fucking puffing the whole time she's moving stuff around. Like it's not her fucking job. And mind you, she had to add a whole nother like specialty clearance rack in this section. So she could even move the clearance shit in the first place. Which I don't know where that stuff is at. I've never been told where that stuff is at. Because it's not my job. Not my job. And stay new. She's huffing above and I could tell. Oh, I could tell she was female. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna so then I go I end my conversation with Shay because like we just like came to that natural point where we stopped talking. And I walk away, I go to shoes, an hour goes by. She's still doing that shit. She's still moving shit around, which it does take time, I'm not gonna lie, but it's like an hour is kinda crazy. Um, because like I can't imagine there being that much clearance. I really can't. Um, but then my team lead comes out, like, we wave to each other because I'm busy and she's busy doing something. Um, and she doesn't want to have a conversation, which is fine. Like, she just got in and she, like, is turning the corner and that's when I hear, I need to have a conversation with you. And I just knew. I just knew. It was fine. And so she, her, the VM, she's being really quiet, but she's, even though, like, I felt like she said that really loud to, like, you know what I mean? Like, let me know what's about me. I don't know. Um, the burp I just let out was disgusting. Raise duo. Um, 
These are the picks we have. I think I'm gonna go, actually, I wanna do the big ones today. Um, and like, so she was being really quiet when she was speaking, but like my team lead was like, not. And it's like, and that's when I really knew that they were talking about because she was saying he, and I'm like the only guy over in style, at least now I am. Um, Cause I guess when I started, there was a guy in style, but then he quit shortly after I started. So I never got to meet him, um, which kind of sucks. I would love there to be more guys in style. But anyway, so, <laughs> and like whatever she, my team lead was saying was like, obviously not, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, oh no, did I not shut this all the way? I do have another one, I think. Not the same brand, but another. Get the fuck off me, bitch. Oh, I should not. Why did I grab that with my hand? That was so stupid. Okay, yeah, there's. it's still good. Just drop the lash, though. But anyway, I don't know exactly what they, they were saying at the time, because I really just did not care. I knew that my team lead was just going to shut down whatever the hell she was saying. Um... Because whenever I have like a week where I know I'm not going to be able to like zone as I'm going or blah, 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 I let her know because it's important that I don't know, have communication. And so, you know, she already knew what I was up to, why I couldn't do what I could, like was not doing or blah, 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 blah. And um, so she huffs puffs away after like my team lead had said enough to her or whatever. And she realized she wasn't going to get her way for the millionth time. Like, it's just like, girl, if it doesn't go your way the first time, I doubt it's going to go your way the second time, the third time, the fourth, the millionth time. You know, like, the glute's a little too tacky. Um, or not tacky enough, sorry. So then, like, I got basically my whole shift without really seeing anybody because I was, like, basically in uh, shoes my whole shift that day because I had so money like I had over I think 700 salvage shoes in one day which I'm only projected to get 400 done in an eight hour shift so to do that in a five and a half hour shift is kind of crazy um but anywho so I'm like leaving for the day and I see my team lead so I went ahead and like walked over to her and I, like, let her know what I got done, what I didn't get done, which was, like, the second part of my job, basically. Um, which is to do, like, backroom stuff. But I just, I haven't, like, gotten to do backroom stuff for, like, ages. So, that wasn't really, like, new. These are so soft. So, but as I'm, like, telling her this... She was like, yeah, did you see such and such the VM, like, came over and talked to me this morning? And I was like, yeah, I was, like, right in front of you guys, but I didn't hear what, uh, hear what was being said. And she was like, oh, it's the same old shit. <laughs> and she was like, she's just complaining that she had to move some stuff around and that it wasn't even somewhat near the clearance rack and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well, she knows I didn't, like, do that area, like, at all. Because, like, the stuff that she was moving, I didn't even know was clearance. Because I didn't do that area last week. And she was like, probably not. Because she doesn't ever communicate with you. And so then I'm just telling her, like, how I think it's so dumb. That she won't even, like, come and talk to me about it. Oh, fuck. Because that's, that's a big thing that pisses me off. Is she'll, she'll just go above me. Go to my team lead. Instead of going, like, hey, Max, like what's up with this like why didn't you do me mer me mer or me mer me mer you know whatever no she just like refuses to even speak to me and just goes to my team lead and it's like maybe it's like one thing because like i definitely don't like confrontation like so i kind of like on an ax on a certain aspect i get that but it's also like it would take three seconds for me to answer your damn question like Especially if you don't ask it in, like, a shitty way. But I don't think she's capable of not asking stuff in a shitty way. Uh, 
just did not stick the way it was supposed to. So, because it like, and it also just kind of bothers me because we, I, I'm not the only pricer in our store. Um, I'm the only pricer in style, but I'm like, there's another person who does pricing and she will communicate the fuck out of what her, like, will tell her what she's doing with what, if she's moving any clearance, where she's moving it to, blah, 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 blah. So it's like, you do that, no problem. But with me, oh, you just don't have the time, whatever. So I was just like, whatever. Oh, I shut my lashes in case it was kind of a little too loud. Just like idling in the parking lot. Oh, I think they're driving away now. I don't like how I put this lash on, but I don't want to redo it. But I'm going to. <sighs> but yeah, like that kind of pissed me off. But it was like the end of my shift, and it was also Friday, so I was like, I don't really give a fuck. I feel like I've been having like a lot of moments where I'm just like, I don't really give a fuck. And I'm like, I'm enjoying that. I really am. I feel like it's a better attitude to have. Personally. So, I've been enjoying that. Which is kind of crazy because I've been having like insane anxiety recently. Like, like I've been taking my emergency meds, emergency meds, like every day. Um, and I still don't feel like that's enough. So, I don't know if I'm going to have to take it off of Wobutrin. Or it's just like something I'm going through right now. Because I feel like the Wilbutrin was working pretty good for me. So I don't know. I'm hoping I don't have to switch medications again. Because that sucks. Oh, something, somehow, some ways in my eyeball. But yeah, like, I, we, like, went to go pick up Chinese food yesterday because my, we got paid. My boyfriend really, my boyfriend loves Chinese food. Like, that boyfriend, like, that man would, like, leave me for, like, a fucking meal, like, of Chinese food. Like, he really would. Like, he loves that shit. And so he's like, I'm really craving it. Can we go get some? So we have two different buffets near us. And the one buffet is, like, a lot better than the other. So we went there first. They're closed. And I'm like, damn. So we are like, okay, we'll just drive to the second one that's near us. They are, like, 20 minutes from closing. And, like, sorry, I'm not going to get it to go because it's a fucking buffet. And it's not worth your money. Um, and then it's just not worth your, like, money at all. Um, like, at all to get it like to go so there is like a Chinese place that I grew up going to when I was a kid um like 15 minutes away but you gotta like order my phone and he fucking hates ordering my phone but so I so I get it I was like I'll order you know because I know you really don't want to do it and I don't know if that gave me anxiety or what but because like, like I was fine when we were driving there but like the moment we parked I felt like I was gonna fucking throw up like I know what it was. I was like, I don't want to go in there. And he was like, okay, like I'll go get the food. Like he was like, fine. But I was like, I'm gonna fucking shit piss myself. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me, but I just felt nasty. Like I felt a little better when we started driving, but like I just like I just felt gross. I don't know what it was. I feel like my camera angle was like not good. So I'm sorry if it is not good. I feel like it's not. <sighs> And, like, there was another day, like, I was just having, oh, yeah, like, the other day, like, I was having such a bad anxiety, like, attack, like, not, like, attack, like, I was, I could feel like I was on the verge of it. So, I came home after work, I took my medication early, and I took a nap, and I wake up, my boyfriend's home, and we needed to go get something, and he said something to me, like, that I took the wrong, completely the wrong way, like, he didn't even say something to me, I can't even remember what it was, so it's not that serious. And it, it hurt my feelings so bad because I was having such bad anxiety. Like, I literally was like, we need to go home now. <laughs> and I had, like, a fucking panic attack, like, an anxiety attack. Not a panic attack, an anxiety attack in my bathroom. Which I feel like is the first 
anxiety attack. No, no, it's not. That's the second one. Um, first one was really bad, but it's the first one I've had in a while. So I was like, damn, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm fine now, but like, I'm just having a lot of anxiety recently. Ooh, that's way too much. Look at that, that's so fucking crazy, bro. But, um, I don't know what's been going on with that. Hopefully it just kind of solves itself. Because I don't know how much of my emergency medication I could take a day. I think it's up to three. Normally I just take two. So, I'll just have to look at my prescription and see. Because they give me a lot of it in case I do need to take it every day. But I normally don't. Like, well... It depends like there's some weeks I definitely need to take it all day like every not all day every day but then there's some weeks I like forget I even have it so <sighs> I don't know but that was like it's just been kind of very like bizarre and like earlier I got a lot of anxiety as well but, like I'm fine like there's nothing wrong or something in my environment that's changing but like I just like start sh like I've been shaky like shaking like crazy recently I'm like fine right now, but like I just I don't know what it's about at all. So I don't know. Maybe it's just like a little bit of stress, but like I just I don't feel like I should be that stressed. Like I feel like things have been okay recently. Um oh but another thing happened at work. My lashes are so big that they're catching my glasses. Um, so we have a new girl. She's not that new, but she's new. I've only worked with her a few times. And she seemed super kind, super nice. I didn't really have an issue with her. I also can't really tell because I don't really work with her. But she'll always say like hello to me and I'll say hello back. And you know, if she'll have she'll have like a question here and there and I'll answer it if I know the answer. Sometimes I don't. I don't work over there <laughs> so sometimes I just don't know um but my I was working with my other co-workers and they were like oh my god she's such a fucking bitch like she's terrible and I was like what are you talking about like she seems so nice like I don't I don't know I don't know what you guys are going through because she's really nice to me well the co-workers that were telling me about it um well except for like one were uh, not white, and so I was like, maybe it's a racial thing, I don't know, um, so I think it may be something to do with that, which I hope it's not, but you never know these days, unfortunately, um, and I, 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 again, like, I don't, I have an issue with her now, because it's like, that's shitty and fucked up, but it's like, you know, you know, you can't, you know, just jump the gun on that stuff, so, other day she came up with me came up to me with a question and because she couldn't find something and she was like I think it's located wrong because like I can't find it because and I looked at her I looked at the location and I was like well where are you looking and she told me and she wasn't looking the right spot um because like we have like shippers and stuff like that which if you don't know what a shipper is it's like <sighs> I don't know how to explain it it's like a big cardboard box of like product that's like in the middle of an aisle or something like that that's a shipper oh my god that's gonna piss me off this keeps catching so but the product she was looking for was in a shipper and it was located like as a shipper and when you're new you're not told really anything about shippers so like totally common easy mistake mistake i probably would have made too if i was stalking because like you're not thinking about it you know it's fine and so I, I let her know that it's actually located correctly and I showed her where it was at. And she starts trying to argue with me that it wasn't located correctly and that the location was for something else. And I was like, nope, this is the right location. Um, and I even showed her like where the location number was and how to check it and all this stuff. And she's still trying to argue. Like, she just like, I don't know if she just didn't want to admit she was wrong, which is like, I get, but it's also, like, it's not, like, I'm not, like, being, like, haha, you stupid, but, like, I'm, 
you know, like, I'm not being mean about it. I'm just like, no, like, this is, this is located correctly. Um, and she's like, oh, okay. You know, she finally just says, okay. And so I was like, well, do you need help with anything else? Or are you good? And she's like, well, actually, I do have a question for you. And I should have thought about it, but I really didn't at the time. She, is it raining out? I think it's raining. She asked me how to unlocate and relocate stuff. And I was like, well, that's not something, because I'm not, I'm not connecting those dots. You might be now, but I wasn't. I think it's raining. Oh, I'm gonna get some good ass sleep tonight. Oh no, it might just be a car pulling in, never mind. Dumbass. So <laughs> she asks me how to like locate and locate something, and I was like, well, we don't normally do anything that about that because that's our VM's job and we don't want to mess up anything our VM does. So unless our VM or our team lead tells us to do something, we should not be messing with that. But I'm pretty sure I know how, so I'll show you where to go. And I'm like 99% sure I did not even show her how to correctly do it because I have, I've only done it once and it was a very long time ago, like when I first started because I had to do something about it. I can't even remember what it was for. Um, let's do this one. And, um, so I show her and she's like, okay, thanks. Bye. And I was like, okay, bye. And I leave for the day. And I come back the, not next day, but like three days later, I think. This is not even my blush brush. What am I doing? Um, come back like three days later and my VM my team lead and like two other people are congregated right by that shipper and I'm like what's up what are y'all doing and they're like the shipper is unlocated and I was like funny you say that because I might know who did that and they're like what who would, who would unlocate something like why and I was I explained what I, just, I told them the exact story I just told you and they're like what the fuck and I was like yeah I don't know I told her like I literally specifically said you know like this is the right location, so don't mess with it. But like, this is how you do it, you know. So, I'm pretty sure she's gonna get talked to, which part of me feels kind of bad about. But also, like, why would you unlocate something when I specifically told you not to, like, or like not to mess with something? And like, yeah, I probably should have just said no. I don't know how, but who knows? Um, but what's crazy? is um like if you really thought I was like wrong you know what I'm saying why would you not just go ask another person like I just don't I'm gonna use this like lip heart one um, I think this is the one I don't use a lot because it's lovely it's so cute I love these lip shines so much Like, why wouldn't you not just, like, wait to, like, literally ask her team lead or, like, I don't know, anybody else? Like, I just so, like, fucking lost on that. Oh. And it's, like, it's not that I dislike her for that or anything like that, but I'm just, like, why? And... Because, and it's also, like, I would like to say, like, normally, if I knew who did, like, he did something like that, I have a double lip line, and you can't really tell, so that's why it looks a little overlined. It looks stupid, but it also looks stupid if I don't put, like, lipstick on it, so. It tastes so good. I love it. Um... <sighs> I'm gonna do the Rem Beauty Picking Petals, which is crazy. Have you guys seen the drama that Ariana Grande has been going through recently? That's kind of crazy. Uh, or like the Lizzo drama. That shit's crazy. I still need to watch the, um, 
the interview that the dancers did, but I heard the interview was really, really bad. Like, they shouldn't have done the interview. Which doesn't mean that they're lying. It just means that, I mean, they really shouldn't have done an interview. I was surprised to hear that they did do one, but... Anywho, that's kind of crazy. But it's like, it's not that I don't, like, like this girl or anything or want to cause drama, but it's like... Because normally, if I knew who had done something, I'm just going to assume that it was an accident and not say who it was. Because we fuck up sometimes. It's not that serious. But because, like, she'd been mean to people, like, I'm gonna, I said something. It just made me a little fucked up. But, like, she's been working there for, like, a few months now. Like, so it's like, why, why do you have, like, that air of, like, oh, I know so much? Let me use this highlighter. So, I don't know. That's, like, really, I don't know, I feel like that's most of the stuff that's been going on. Damn, that's a lot. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, and, yeah, I'm not eating any, well, I'm, okay, that's, I'm not gonna even say that. I'm limiting my dairy intake a considerable amount. Um, because I already knew that dairy irritated my stomach really bad. So, like, I don't drink milk, or I don't normally like, consume stuff with, like, a fuck ton of milk in it. Other than, like, maybe mac and cheese. Like, the fake milk in that, and, like, um, I don't know, some other stuff, probably. But I will eat cheese. And that's, like, cheese and chocolate is probably, like, the main thing that, like, dairy-wise that I consume. But because my stomach has been hurting so bad and it still hasn't stopped, I have just been limiting on what I've been eating to see what's going to make me feel better. And basically going non-dairy and um, gluten-free, I've been feeling great. Which sucks because there's a lot of the good things that have gluten in them. But I'm like sick of my stomach hurting so bad that like I literally feel like I'm going to implode. And it also makes me look like I'm literally nine months pregnant like I'm about to burst with a baby like I look huge um and like my little cousin is a celiac and like I haven't been diagnosed with anything yet I'm probably gonna get like a food panel thing done if I can and it's not expensive which it probably will be but um like because I was like talking to my mom, like I've been having all these stomach problems my entire life, mind you. But they've just been getting so fucking like worse, like so much worse recently. And I'm like desperate for anything. And my mom was like, well, why don't you try not eating gluten for a bit? And so I was like, honestly, at this point, fuck it. And would you, would I have guessed it? It's, I, I feel better. Because um, I was vegan for quite some time um, in my life. But I ended up stopping because I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. Um, and also it was expensive because I mainly paid for all of my own groceries when I was vegan. Um, when I was younger. Which is kind of crazy when I think about it, but it's whatever. Um, I mean, now I definitely pay for all my own groceries, but... Um, so it's still kind of very expensive, but it's like, if I feel better, then fuck, I'll do anything. So... But I didn't eat anything gluten-free today. Or I I did eat mostly gluten-free except for the Chinese food that we just had. Which which is, I'm just assuming it's not gluten-free. I didn't like look at the ingredient list. but Because I knew that we were going to just order it. But um, I'm assuming just because like my stomach blew up the way it normally does when I have gluten. So, But I've been doing that for like what? two weeks now and I feel really good um I haven't checked to see if I've lost any weight but I have but yeah so just kind of wanted to talk to y'all I'm so sorry if this video was like hard to follow I feel like I was all over tonight but like I don't know I just wanted to film like I've been like sleeping a ton I've been like really tired um oh I'm also starting college classes here in a few days um or should be I haven't scheduled any yet, but I know I should be starting them. I have, I got into a bachelor's program for graphic design and media art. So I'm mainly going to be focusing on the media art aspect, but um, 
a graphic design school too. So um, I'm just glad that like they offer something that has to do with art. So I'm just in the process of getting all my like transcripts sent so then they can put me on for scheduling. Um, I kind of fucked up though because I, I, I don't know if uh, for you guys, but like every time I've had to send transcripts over, like I've most of the time have just had my transcripts. So I, I never like needed to re request them. Um, and or if I have requested my transcripts, they just sent them to me and then I sent them to the college. But for some reason, this college wants me to get the, uh, like my other colleges to send it directly to them. Otherwise they're not valid. Um, and I didn't catch that at the end of the phone call I had with this lady until after I had ordered my transcripts to be sent to me so I could send them to them. <sighs> so you can imagine my fucking surprise after I'm charged $24 that I um, had to redo the whole process. So I just, I emailed their customer support if they could cancel or change the recipient somehow or if it's too late because I think one of the colleges already sent me my stuff. So if they can't, then I'm going to reach out to the program I'm going through and asking if they can reimburse it because I don't want to be spending money that I do not have. And I don't want to be spending on transcripts, which is so bullshit that I even have to fucking pay for it. Like, it's literally an automated process and you're making me pay for it because like, it's like a convenience fee. I do the same, like, it's the same shit that um, rent has you do. Like, I pay $26 convenience fee on my rent every month. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah. That's it. But yeah, I love y'all. I hope this was relaxing, if not entertaining to you. I love you. If you have any video suggestions, makeup suggestions for brands to use, whatever, let me know. I really want to, I'm like in the mood to buy a fuck ton of makeup and my one year anniversary is coming up. So I know I'm about to get them. Not like money, but I'm about to get sport. So I already know, I think I already know what he's going to get me. So I definitely know what one thing is, but he's, I don't think he has, no, he definitely knows what I'm getting him. Um, at least one of the things I'm so ass at planning this. And so if you have any suggestions for anniversary gifts. I'm gonna go.